You know, I always like to bring you uh, topics and reflections on things that I believe are relevant to all of us today as we live in this world. So today I want to talk about depression. And so that will be the focus for this month. You know, each month we have a theme. And so this month's theme is depression. Because I think sometimes we forget that God exists in our ordinary lives. So let's start with prayer. Gracious God, I ask now that you just uh, be with me and and as I share thoughts and reflection and on depression as to where you are in all of that, that you will be with me, that you will be with those that may be listening now and those that will be listening later. Thank you, God, for uh, all that you continue to do for all of us. Thank you for your love and thank you for always being in the midst of our challenges and our struggles. In Christ's name, amen. So depression is something that I believe hits all of us. It's about being sad, uh, low fatigue, low energy, uh, feelings of unworthiness, hopelessness, all of those things. And and I will admit, I have dealt with depression off and on in my own life from time to time. And even a time in which I had to use medication. But depression is something that we shouldn't be ashamed about. I think we live in a society in which uh, if we're depressed or if we're something that is deemed less than in our world, that we impose the feeling of unworthiness on ourselves. Depression is a feeling. It's hard to explain it, but when you're in the midst of it, you know that it's there. And when you talk about it, people, some people might not understand. They might not understand because they, they don't deal with it or they ignore it. Uh, because there are all times in our lives in which we are sad. Don't let anybody tell you any differently. Everyone has a moment of sadness. It may last a lot longer than for other people, but it is there. And in the midst of it, I think we have to believe and remember that God is there with us in the midst of it. Throughout the scriptures, we find uh, writers and prophets and other women and other men that deal with sadness. They deal with feeling uh, hopeless in a situation. Job comes to mind. And I think about it, Job lost everything that he had, everything. He becomes the, the example of suffering in our lives uh, when people talk about suffering in the Bible. And yet, in the midst of his pain, in the midst of his anguish, in the midst of his grief, he did not forget that God was there. I know we wonder, where is God in the midst of sadness? God is right there waiting for us to come to God for an answer, waiting for us to come to God for a way out, just waiting for us to remind us that we belong to God. Listen to the writer of Psalm 42, verses 5 through 8. Why are you cast down, O my soul, and why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall again praise God, my help and my God. He was a writer, many people say it was, Paul, it was David, that was going through something in his life and yet he never gave up on the fact that God was there. Depression might not last forever. It feels like that when we're in the midst of it. Just remind yourself, God is right there with you. God is right there to give you hope. God is right there to remind you of God's love. It may take some time, but don't forget that God is with you in the midst of it. Depression, let's talk about it this month. Take care. I pray that something that I've said will bless you in some way and remind you that depression is not something to be ashamed of. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.